What's good everybody, JB Lewis back in the building, coming at you with another prediction video for WWE's Extreme Rules, The Harvard Show. So, as we know, the big one, one of the big four SummerSlam is next month. That's the one we're really waiting for. So, this is kind of like, usually Extreme Rules, you would think, okay, we're going to see some wild stuff, you know, even though it's not like how it used to be. But it's almost like just a pass me by, <laughs> you know, it's almost like a lot of these other pay-per-views are like pass me by as they like throwaways because you're looking forward to something else even though some have turned out better than others but it's like with this one i don't see a lot going down that's possibly two things that could happen um one that i really want to happen but at the same time it's kind of like i don't know man because it's like i like both parties so but I get to that. So um, what we're gonna do is go over these matches. It's gonna be real quick, you know. Like I said, I gotta really get too in depth, you know. So first off, we got SmackDown Tag Team Championships tables match: The New Day versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro. I'm gonna say Shinsuke and uh, Cesaro are gonna win the tag team championships. Now, I would rather Cesaro and Shinsuke be on some single runs. I mean, same thing with the New Day, but this is where we at. This doesn't hurt New Day at all if they lose, you know, Shinsuke and Cesaro. Cesaro, you know, that man is a tag team savant. You know, I still to this day wish he could be with Chris Hero, the kings of wrestling, you know. But, hey, like I say, him and TJ, you know, they did the thing. Him and Sheamus did the thing when they was the boy. Not him and Shinsuke. So, I think they're going to win. They've been giving New Day some problems. So, like I said, you know, just some fresh faces with a title. But, there you go. Next up, we got the United States Championship match. Apollo Crews versus MVP. And we're going to have a new United States title. As we've all seen it, I think it looks good. Um, I'm going to say Apollo's going to win this. You know, and I think this will eventually lead to Lashley and Apollo. There's still this thing where MVP trying to get a faction. This is what everybody wants. The question is, who is he going to get? You know, is it going to be Cedric? You know, is it Ricochet? Is it both? Will Apollo still join up? I mean, we'll have to see. But I think Apollo is going to win this. So he's going to be carrying that new belt. And then eventually him and Lashley will go at it. That'll probably be the match at SummerSlam, and I don't know, maybe we'll get a clearer idea, you know, about who joins up. Or, like I said, only way MVP wins is if somebody interferes, you know, like, uh, I would like to see Shelton a part of the, uh, the Hurt Business. I think he'd be perfect. All right. Next match is the most, like, I don't know what the hell this is going to be. The I for I match between Rey Mysterio and Seth Rollins. I still don't know how the hell they're going to pull this off. Is this going to be a cinematic match? Is this going to be some, like, shenanigans? It's called the horror show, so obviously they're going to probably have some damn special effects with somebody's eyes getting plucked out, and then months later, Cat going to have the regular eye, and then we're going to be like, okay, so this could either go two ways. This could either be the swan song for Rey Mysterio, or this could get Self off TV, which I really don't see happening. I see Self winning this. I know everybody thinking Dominic's going to turn. I don't know. Seth's been losing a lot. And I'm talking about at pay-per-views and matches. And then he went from having four guys to just two. He's completely outnumbered. But I think Seth is going to pull this off. Seth needs this win. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Seth. As far as how it's going, like, I, have, I don't know how they're going to pull this off. I still don't know. But I think Seth is going to win so he can continue the Messiah gimmick. And... The one AOP dude that's not hurt, why the fuck is he not with them? Self need allies. I don't know what's up with theory. Like I say, I don't know if there's allegations. I don't know if he got COVID or what the deal is. But, yeah. Look at it, man. You can have that other dude from AOP. You can have somebody else. I mean, yo. So, I got Self winning this. Moving on. Women's tech, women's uh, SmackDown Women's Championship match. Bailey versus Nikki Cross. I got Bailey all the way. I love me some Nikki. But uh, Bailey's going to pull this out, no doubt. Um, I don't know who will beat Becky. I mean, Bailey. I have no idea who will beat her. 
Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, going down the line, maybe it eventually will be Sasha, but I don't know. But like I say, Bailey winning this. Now moving on to this is the toughest one to call. The Raw Women's Championship, Sasha Banks versus Oscar. <sighs> I want Sasha to win this so badly, but at the same time, I fucking love Oscar. Oscar has been one of the people killing it since, you know, COVID and all that stuff going down, the dancing, the shenanigans, you know, Kyrie's back in the building, you know, so. But, man, I think Sasha, man, like how Oscar was so fucking screwed over and overdue and she's having her moment, Sasha is right behind her. The fact that what, as a total, she's had, what, 80 days as a champ, which is bullshit. Um, but at the same time, it's like, do you want to kill Oscar's momentum right now, you know? So it's kind of hard. But at the same time, Sasha is due, so I don't know. Uh, it's a coin flip on this shit. Uh, can I plead the fifth on this? <laughs> oh, I gotta pick a winner though. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Oscar to retain. And hold me to that. I'm going with Oscar to retain as bad as I want Sasha to win, man. Oscar's gonna retain. Coming up, uh, we got the WWE Championship match. Man, Drew gonna wash the shit out of Dolph, man. I mean, Dolph went to the cat that we was rooting for to the fact that we really just don't care no more. And Dolph is still, it's not like Dolph is bad. Dolph is that dude, but, you know, man, it's like nobody takes him seriously no more. Like, they have straight killed him over the years. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like I said, it's just a throwaway to whoever Drew faces on SummerSlam, which people think it might be Randy. So, I got Drew, man. Drew going to wash it off. You know what I'm saying? So, finally, like I say, you know, they always might throw another match in here somewhere. So, we'll just have to see. And next up, we got the Wyatt Swamp fight. Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt. The old school Bray Wyatt. Probably my favorite Bray Wyatt. Um... Braun's going to win this. He's going to win. And then this is going to eventually lead him to the Fiend. And he's going to get his ass whooped. So. Now. The way Bray Mind worked. This is going to be trippy. This is going to be real crazy. I know this is going to be. I know this is going to be out of there. It's probably going to be up there with the. You know. Like I say. I love the Money in the Bank match. How crazy it was. You know. The Street Profits. Viking Raiders look crazy stuff. I know a lot of people didn't like it. But I like it just for how silly it was. And, of course, the bone, bone, uh, Boneyard match, which was damn good. So, this might surprise us, even though I see Braun winning this. And then he's going to go against The Fiend, probably at SummerSlam. And then, Braun, that'll be it for you. So, there y'all have it. So, recap. Shin, I got Shinsuke and Cesaro winning the Tag Team Championships. I got Apollo retaining the United States Championship. I got Seth Rollins. Winning the I for I match. I got Bailey retaining her title against Nikki Cross, the SmackDown Women's Championship. I got Oscar retaining against Sasha Banks, even though I want Sasha to win, because it's like this is one of the things where you just love both people and you just hate that it gotta be a loser. Drew McIntyre gonna beat the shit out of Dolph. Get him out of here. And Braun Strowman will retain over the uh, old school Bray Wyatt so there y'all have it so give me y'all predictions let me know what y'all think and we'll just see what it is so with that being said subscribe to my channel hit the like button JV Lewis y'all be safe out of here catch y'all on the rebound check out the Patreon JV Lewis hit the notification button to be alerted when you post new videos check out the Twitch your gaming channel JV Lewis Xbox One and check me out on TikTok JV Lewis 77 and y'all good people be safe out here peace